guys welcome back to a brand new video so um, this video is not gonna really be us like moving around traveling or anything we're actually I mean as you can tell from the title so today we're doing something pretty basic we're actually gonna be replacing the brake pads on Hannah's um, GTST so she ended up getting them today and uh, shot or yesterday actually and uh, we're gonna be replacing them today but um, shout out to our man Patrick you guys have seen him in a couple videos for letting us use his like jack and stands and everything Appreciate you. Um, the only thing is we don't have, um, what's that tool called? A powered, like. We don't have like an impact gun. Yeah, we don't have an impact gun. So I'm gonna be freaking taking this off, good old fashioned way, putting a wrench on there and using my foot and stomping it, you know what I'm saying? So, but her brakes have been squeaking for a really long time and we have no idea if these brake pads have ever been changed. Probably ever, you think? Uh, Maybe once or twice, but they're really squeaky. And um, yeah, and uh, they leave a lot of brake dust, like a lot of brake dust. So, gonna get these off. You probably clean. You probably want to clean your wheels too, yeah. While we have them off. That's what we're gonna be doing today. So we're gonna be placing the brake pads. Um, we're gonna go basically. Then we have to drive the car for a little bit and like you know get the brake pads like all set up and like I don't know what what the terminology is. What do you have to do to the brake pads? We have to bed the brake pads. I'm learning, and um. On other note, in other words, um, we're also hopefully going to be taking this to our friend Chris, who's going to be paint matching this to match um, her GTST, the same blue, because it, it came off of a gray GTR, like a gunmetal gray GTR. So we're going to be taking this, hopefully getting it painted this week, so that way we can finally have a wing on Hannah's GTST, because it's missing a wing. And I can't wait until she puts like a body kitten on this thing, make it she wants to do like the n1 bumper you want him to do like the whole like n1 setup right yeah. so entire n1 setup on this thing i think will be sick so but yeah guys we're gonna work on getting these wheels off so that way we can replace the brake pads if you guys are new to the channel make sure to comment make sure to like make sure to subscribe for daily content and uh here we go i'm probably gonna put you guys in time lapse mode so that way um you guys can kind of watch as we try to do this Got it. Maybe you don't got it. Maybe? Oh, okay. Or... That breaking thing? I broke it. You got, got it. it. Nice. <laughs> Lit. All right, time to do the next one. <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> Why is yours so dramatic? <laughs> If you go, if you torque the wrench up a little bit higher, you get the, yeah, there you go. I'm gonna back up before I die and get nut checked by the freaking. Cause I have to like put all of my weight on it. So I have to stand on it. Okay. You ready for this dude? You ready for this shit dude? Oh! It stayed. <laughs> But I broke it though. Yeah. Okay. See if I can do this with a hand. One hand. That needs probably would help if that was clipped in. Never mind. I can't do that handed. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not he man. There we go. And last one. Alright, this is all you. Yeah. Got that. This is what happens when you don't have an impact gun. Just curb stomp it. Get it? Okay. Yeah. Nice, dude. Okay. Yep, these are all. Alright, these are all. Nice. Good stuff. Alright, so now we can just lift up the front and do and take the wheels off and now do the front pads. Here, you wanna, you wanna guide me? Okay, so Hannah and I basically have been to war. I think Hannah a little bit more than me, but we finally managed to get brake pads on on the front. 
And um, right now she's just kind of getting the clip in on the pin. But there's new clips. Um, I don't know what the t these are technically called. What is this? This clamp, I guess. I don't know, just whatever whatever this is, this is replaced. Obviously we got new pins. Um, new pins and then there's like, she's putting like these new clips in and here in the pin. But look at this side over here while she finishes. So this side's already done. We kind of have the wheel turned a little bit, but like here are her old brake pads and everything. So these were on this side. These are the old pins right here. And then this was the old clamp, whatever you want to call it. That was over there. And yeah, so those are the old. And this is the new. So definitely looks a lot better. And then Hannah did ceramic, right? You did ceramic brakes? Yeah. So did a little bit of an upgrade, did some, some ceramic brakes, but she's just getting this, this uh, little like bobby pin thing in the pin to keep it from sliding out. Um, and then we're gonna be able to put the front wheels on and now do the back. <laughs> Look at me. We need some brake cleaning. Oh my god, dude. You're so dirty. Yeah. You're so dirty. Hey, give me a let me get let me get that thumbs up. Hold on, the freaking sun is like. Is it like Alright now let me see it. Let me see that thumbs up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright. All right, now we're gonna put the front wheels back on, lower this, and now we Look gotta do this. the back. This is the so, old brake pad. Yeah, pull it down. Or you yeah. pull it down. down. You can touch these, these aren't going back on. No, I know, I'm like trying to show you the- Well, like, I mean, yeah, the, but you're holding it like flat. I'm trying to show you like the level, cause it's really like oh, not, okay. not straight at all. <laughs> nice. It's super worn like right here, <laughs> So, put boom. And there, front's done. There we go. Now it's time to do the back. Okay, obviously they're not perfect, but I mean, did a pretty good job of cleaning off a lot of it. They're definitely a lot better. That's for sure. I mean, we probably need to get like a wire brush so we can hit like all this stuff. It's kind of like stuck on there and gunked on there, but there was some stuff that I was able, I was able to get off. The other one, it's pretty clean too. Again, not, not too bad. There's still some stuff in there that's like stuck on there and I'm probably gonna need like a wire brush or something to be able to get it off, but all in all. So some stuff happened before, or while we've been, while you guys have been gone. Um, so the camera died, so we had to charge it a little bit. So the new brake pads or the rear ones have like this like little silver clip back here. Um, and so we could get the actual brake pads like in here, we had to basically take the caliper off, but my dumb ass broke the bolts on the caliper and opened the caliper. And so some brake fluid came out. So now there's air in the system. So now we're gonna have to bleed the brakes. But in other words, we were able to get the caliper off the rotor and I don't know where the bolt is. Oh, look at look how crusty this freaking bolt is, dude. So like, and on top of that, you have this freaking like arm, control arm right here where the bolt sits for the caliper and there's just like no space. So like it was, it was, it was very frustrating getting this caliper off, but we got it off. We we're able to get the freaking brake pad in and uh, now we're gonna put it back on the rotor and uh, we're gonna do it to the other side, break those bolts, get that caliper off, and then we're gonna have to bleed the system because I got air in the brake system. <laughs> so, yeah, fun times. This tab is uh, so that your, um, whenever your brake pads are low, it squeaks. So you can see it's kind of like halfway through the brake pad. That's so that it squeals and tells you, change them. <laughs> yeah. So, we didn't have any on the old ones. The old ones are just gross. So, so sick. All right, well, we're gonna finish putting on, we're gonna put the other pad in, get this back on the rotor, and then get these bolts back and get the caliper back on the rotor. And we have to do it to the other side. And uh, then we gotta bleed the system. Cause there's air in there now. It's cleaning Whew. my ring though. Woo! Okay guys. The brake fluid is cleaning my ring. 
cleaning your ring? What if it this like one. destroys it? Oh, this one. that one? Jeez. Hey guys, so we're back. Um, so this is what it looks like to break, um, <laughs> not break your car, but like break the like bolts and everything off of a 30 year old car that's never had the freaking like bolts broken off of the calipers. Literally, you get, you get hair that sticks up. like <laughs> look at how dirty Hannah is, dude. Um, like look at how dirty you are. Oh my goodness, I don't <laughs> Like look at, look at your like hands and stuff. Like hold, on, hold your arms out. Like look at your hands. Look at your leggies are super dirty. Your face. <laughs> yeah, like you're, you're mad dirty. You're, so you're dirty. I'm You're pretty dirty. dirty. I'm pretty dirty as well. I mean, I'm yeah, I'm covered. So, dude, honestly, the hardest part wasn't even like getting the brake pads in. The hardest part was breaking the freaking bolts on the calipers. That so the calipers are obviously connected to like the knuckles and like you know whatever whatever freaking terminology you want to use. The freaking bar back there. Um, and so to get the caliper off. I had to break the top and bottom. And the thing is, is we don't have like a power tool. Like I don't have like an impact gun to break those. So I literally had to just kind of like hang on. So what's stupid is, I mean, it's not stupid, but like on this side to break the bolts, I had to take the wrench and go up. And then on the other side, I had to take the wrench and go down. Going down was a lot easier. Going up was a lot harder. Um, just cause that leverage and everything was, it was, it was awful. But now, since I accidentally un... So I broke the bolts on the actual caliper on the, on the right side, some brake fluid, um, bled, and uh, air caught in the system. So now we gotta bleed the brakes and put new brake fluid in. So yeah, it's gonna be lit. So apparently what we gotta do is we gotta go get like a turkey baster or something to get all of the fluid out of here and then we gotta get like some zip ties and some tubes and a bottle. And I guess basically just pump the fluid and everything. I guess we gotta take the cap off of here. Like there's a line right here. And we got, I guess we gotta take the line off, take some tubing, put it into a bottle and then just pump the fluid out. I, I think that's like the general, I don't know. I'm gonna do research obviously. And Hannah has a little bit of a better idea, but I think that's like the general idea of what we gotta do. So zip ties turkey baster to get the current fluid out. We need new brake fluid and yeah, so almost done. We have some other, we just got some stuff we gotta get done. Um, something that was supposed to be, you know, maybe 20, 30 minutes is now turning into like hours. Like again, the hardest part has been breaking the bolts. So, but all right guys, we are gonna go hit up like AutoZone or something, get some stuff and start bleeding the brakes. and. I want to preface this. This is the first time either either Hannah or myself have ever replaced brake pads, and this will be the first time we've ever bled brakes. So all the stuff that we're doing is like for the first time. So it's probably why it's taking hours because we don't know what the heck we're doing, and we're kind of just learning as we go. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the video. I mean, it's it's I've been upset all day, but we did it. Brake pads were replaced. Now we got to bleed brakes. All right, see you guys in a little bit. So Hannah ended up getting some stuff from GK Tech. So she's gonna be replacing the shift, the e-brake handle basically, and the button. So she's got the button here that she's gonna be replacing it with. And then I think the actual handle is in here. So it's gonna be like this nice black uh, aluminum brushed like little handle. So gonna be replacing this leather thing with that. Gonna be super clean. Yep. <laughs> yep. So, um, something that our good friend Patrick, Patrick told us that we did not know was that whenever we were bleeding the brakes, basically what would happen is we would, we would, um, un, like, we would break the knob and then we would pump the brakes, let the fluid out, and then close it. Apparently, what you're supposed to do is push the brake down break the knob so that way the fluid can come out and then you close it and then you release the brakes. So we have to bleed the brakes again for a third round because um, there's still air in the system. And so, yeah, so a little update, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna, and also I forgot to show you guys, 
Hannah also got some new lug nuts for her wheels as well. So right now she has like this, like the chrome silver lugs and she's replacing them with these black ones. So they're a little bit longer. So like this is the old on the right and then the new on the left, as you can see. So definitely looks a lot better. Um, it's a lot thinner, a lot smaller. They're a little bit longer, so they stick out a little bit more, but I think it'll be good, okay? So we're gonna get the lugs replaced on all of these. Um, honestly, should we just jack the car up again? Okay. I guess I'll just break the lugs on, every, on all of them and then lift the car again, okay? one-handed, because I'm a pro. One-handed, there we go. What? Oh yeah, we do need to do that. Let's, uh, let's uh, do the transfer on that before we take it to the good first time. Okay. All right, and we also have to replace the trans fluid on our Forerunner. So, just all of the things today: trans fluid on the Forerunner. We got to lift the car again. Um, <clears throat> jack. I'm gonna break the lugs on on the wheels. Jack the car up again. Take them off. And at that point, we're gonna just put all of the new hardware on. And then Hannah is currently. I think she's doing the, the handle right now. They showed, they showed using a box cutter to like cut this, but I don't know if we have one. A box cutter? Yeah. We have, um, I mean, we have like a... We have your, you have your knife too, I yeah. guess. But Are you supposed to cut it? Well, yeah, to like get, be able to get this off a little bit easier, I think, but it also showed taking this off, which it showed it being very easy, but... I'm struggling a little bit. It's probably never been taken off, so it's probably on there a little bit. Probably stuck on there. Let me see. Yeah. One-handed. Watch you, you do it. Well, just trying to get some, like, leverage. Yeah. There's an opening right here, but... <laughs> so close. <laughs> it's almost off. Something else that Hannah's like doing, that. yeah, I sound like it. Something else that Hannah got. So she got this like fabbed, um, fabbed, is that the word? Or fobbed? What's the word? Fabbed, fobbed? Fabbed. Fabbed, I said fabbed. fabbed. Well, I said fabbed. A, I was confused what you were talking about, but it's a 3D printed. So we got a 3D printed um, gauge cluster for her Skyline, but she doesn't have like the radio mount on the side that it's currently missing. So she's not able to actually like mount this to anything. And on top of that, the little lip on the blitz gauge quite literally doesn't come off. So like this AEM one is plastic. This thing literally just spins off and she was able to push the gauge through and then just twist this back on so it can fit in. This one literally doesn't come out. So we're end up gonna be replacing this and do all three AEM, um, all three AEM like gauges and everything and then probably just end up selling that one. Yeah, and since I don't have the bracket, uh, I can't move this down to somewhere else. So I have to, um, I'd have to remove the bracket up top, which I don't even know if you can do it because it, the way it's set in there. Um, so I think I have to get a radio bracket to be able to move it. All right, update. We got this off. So apparently this is supposed to come out. We didn't know that. We thought this needed to stay on there, but it doesn't. This is like the little ring that sits here, pulled it out. And now when you put the button on, the button will grip to this so you can easily flick it out like that. So the parking brake will actually engage. So now we're gonna put the handle back on for the fifth time, knock the button on and she should be good to go. So, I can drift now. <laughs> slide that bad boy on there, dude. It sounds so terrible. It's just the inside. I don't like the sound. <laughs> all right, nice. So we're how far up is this gonna get you? All right, here. Um, we'll do this button first, and then we'll Here's tighten that. the bottom. <laughs> Baby, you need this on there. 
Th th that's to cover the button so you don't break it. I know, you're handing things to me and then in the wrong order. Should we hammer it on a little bit more? Yeah. Dang! Look at I that. just forget I, it's the opposite of my handbrake, so I have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. It's to just like my car. Push in. Yeah, so I that's, know. That's what my car is. I know. I actually. So, like... so there we go. So like now she can just rip her e-brake, but you just do that, push that up. I got. Yeah. Okay. And there you go. Mm. That looks so much nicer than this car. Yeah, this was her old. If anyone's looking for uh, an e-brake handle, uh, $100. $100. <laughs> That's how we sell things. I'm going to make this into a... Clean your windows. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, from that to that. Sick, dude. And next is getting... Yeah, now we got to get a replacement boot. Shift boot. And you need a new shift knob. This thing looks very 90s. Even though it's carbon fiber, it just looks like... It looks like old tile floor to me. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not real carbon. It's fake carbon. Did you it's... tighten this back up? Or did you strap it back or whatever? Yeah, it's just a, a button and Velcro. Gotcha. Okay. So, probably just going to throw that away. Yeah, that's gross. But boom. New shift knob. Or <laughs> new e-brake, I'm sorry. New e-brake. E-brake and button. And new, then new handbrake. New handbrake. <laughs> handbrake and button. Now we are going to go. We're gonna put transmission fluid in the forerunner. Go get some more brake fluid. Jack the car up. Take all the wheels off. Bleed the brakes again for the third time. And then put all the new lugs on. Oh, and then Hannah found a Japanese coin. It was like in here. It was inside like this area. She found a Japanese coin. I was like, hey, right, mine guys. has a trim, please. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone that has an R32 GTST trim, center console. Thank you. Arigato. It's like much. Yamata. Thank you. Okay, got you guys in a little bit. Okay, so this is a definite change of scenery. Um, so, right now. Um, we, we obviously earlier we were in Hannah's car and messing around doing some stuff, but um, someone hit me up and actually asked me if they could use my car in a music video. This one. Yeah, my forerunner. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. The 180's parked over there. But um, we're, we're in like a parking lot right now. And fortunately, there's other people here. I thought I was going to be the only one and I thought you guys were going to have to call the police and find my body somewhere. So I'm glad to know there's other cars here. But yeah, so... That's just kind of like the ending of this day. We got up at 6.30 a.m., went to a meet, and now we're at a parking lot at like 7.30 p.m. because it gets dark in Texas at seven. And now we're uh, putting our car in a music video. I'll let you guys know if we die. And if we don't die and the music video ends up being legit, I'll link it in a later video. So yeah, we're gonna hang out at this dark park. Um, really, really, I don't really think there's much left to film for the day. Um, so I think what we'll probably do is we ended up getting more brake fluid for Hannah's car so we're gonna have to bleed the brakes again so we'll probably pick up this video there bleed the brakes and that'll be the end of this video but yeah kind of just random so catch you guys later just finished um, bleeding the brakes for Hannah's car for the final time and they work they're perfect they're per beautiful perfect brakes no one could have done it any better like <laughs> like like no one could have no one could have done this any better than we could have we're trained professionals <laughs> No, we're, you don't claim that we're trained professionals. Oh yeah, we're not trained professionals, but we are. We're opening up shop Aru, okay? <laughs> so yeah, but all right. So basically now we have to go. So obviously bleeding the brakes was a process of itself, but now we have to go through this process. Um, so you have to engage hard braking at 40 miles per hour. Do not come to a complete stop. I think you send it to the stop sign. Like after this car over here goes, 
gotta get better at shifting. Yeah, I know. Seconds kind of weird. Um, what was, what did I have to do now? 50 miles per hour and then jam your brakes, but don't come to a complete stop. Okay, what's, uh, what's 50? I'm trying to think about. Uh, go to 90 kilometers. 90 kilometers and then jam your brakes, but don't come to a complete stop. I don't know if that was technically jamming my brakes. You want to go down to at least 20. You want to go from 90 to 20 kilometers around. It's so scary because this is like a 45 well, you, you, mile around. Like you don't. A 40 mile around. I mean, that's fine. 50 is not that much more. But I mean, like, there's no one behind you right now, so you're fine. Go fast, go fast, go fast. Hurry, do the turnaround. Hurry, 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 hurry before any cops come. Before any cops come, we're doing illegal things. Rip it, rip it, Cindy. Go, 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 go. Woo, woo, woo. what I don't hear. Squeaking. squeaking. <laughs> I don't hear squeaking. It's so nice. No squeaking brakes. Forgot how to drive? Yeah. Forgot how to drive manual? Been driving the Forerunner too much? Yeah, Alright guys, so that is pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. We'll catch you guys later.